What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are gonna do day 101 of Fusion. I found out that my Automata top-down video truly actually wasn't a top-down video. I'm not taking it down, but I do want to improve, which is the whole thing of the channel, is for me to get better at CAD. I'm showing you my progress. With that being said, we're going to do the whole Automata box truly as a top-down approach together, and it's going to be a much more clean, better experience for both of us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sketch, and I'm going to click on the top plane here. You can use R for rectangle, but I actually want a center point rectangle here. So what I'm going to do is do the first click as the center of my rectangle and then do 4.5 tab 4 and so that'll create a 4.5 by 4 rectangle fixed about the origin point. We hit finish sketch, we can extrude that up to be a quarter inch. There we go. We are ready to move on to our sidewalls. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to hit P for project and we're gonna project this rectangle onto this sketch. If I make that body inactive, you can see those purple lines and that's what we want. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a line to continue my rectangle. And then the dimension between our sidewalls here is going to be 0.25. Now, since this is true top down, we do want to project our geometry quite frequently. That uh, we make sure whatever we're creating is referenced off of previous geometry. You can kind of stack them and do it, draw your sidewalls a couple different ways, but I truly want to make this top down. Let's hit E for extrude and let's bring these two sidewalls up four inches. Now instead of a join, we're going to do a new body. And then let's just keep on going. We got our sidewalls, we got our bottom. Let's create a sketch. And let's draw in, or you hit P for project, all of this geometry. Hit finish sketch, hit E for extrude, and look how quick that is. I didn't have to draw a single shape, I used my projection lines to do exactly what I need to happen. It's not a join, it's a new body. We click OK, and I'm going to rotate over to the back side here. We're going to create a sketch on the back plane, and we're going to hit P for project, but I'm going to use our inside lines here, because we want to make that insert for our back piece. So what I'm going to do is project the four lines, and we make our bodies inactive, those four lines that allow me to extrude that inside piece. Man, project is a really cool tool. Notice I didn't have to type in any dimensions. All I had, well, except for the extrusion, I guess. All I had to do was uh, project. It's just super smooth. Now, it's not going to be 0.25. It's going to be negative 0.25 because we're going to go into the box. And that's going to be a new body still. Looks pretty good, folks. It really does. Now, here's where the new cool stuff comes into play at. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new component. And that component is going to be called box. And what we're going to do with this is that notice the box, when I do that, becomes active. We're going to make our main design file. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's just call this automata top down. And these bodies here, we're going to rename. So body one is bottom. I'm just double doing the slow double click so I can rename. So we got left, right, top, slow double click, and back. These five bodies we want to reference under box. So what we're going to do is we're going to take click on the top one of this list, hold the shift key down, and select the bottom one on that list. We're going to drag and drop all of that into box. And so now even though my box is referenced as five different parts, 
or five different bodies, it's referenced as one component. Now, now look at that. It is already moving as if it was glued together. I don't know about you, but that makes our lives a whole lot easier because now we don't have to worry about a single joint in all of this. It just makes our job a whole lot easier. We are going to go, however, and assign a physical material. So let's assign MDF if we can find it. Let's look at wood, medium density fiberboard. We're going to drag and drop it in there. Now I know the color isn't what we want, but it's the physical property. So if we were to look at the properties list or when we draw a drawing file later, it will show the correct property here. What we need to do now is to make it look correctly. We're going to hit escape. We're going to right click and we're going to do appearance. Now I wish physical material had a search bar like the library does on appearance, but you can just type in MDF, drag and drop. And look at that folks, we have our box and it is already assembled. Looks great, it's gonna be great. We're gonna right click and ground it. And now our box doesn't move. We are ready to continue on with the next part of our assembly. Here's what we've done so far. We've made the box as one component with five different bodies. And then we've also assigned the material and appearance to this part. Okay guys, if you got any questions for me, feel free to throw them down in the comment section. You guys are awesome, stay awesome. We're gonna follow up with more videos and making this automata all the way through. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.